Hey guys, it's TTL back with another video for you and today we're going to take a look at the Zotac GTX 960 but it's the AMP edition and this means it's got a fairly healthy overclock. Now when I say it's got a fairly healthy overclock, we will show you the card. Ta -da! But yes, when I say it's got a fairly healthy overclock, what I mean is, is uh, the base clock is 266 megahertz. Then that's got the boost, which is 1329 megahertz. But because of GPU boost too and how good this cooler is, and I'll bring the little thing up, it actually goes up to 1430 megahertz on its own without you doing anything. That's obviously uh, your system dependent and cooling dependent because it's all kind of loosely based around that. But most people could probably expect around that 1400 megahertz mark. Now, because it's the AMP version, it's actually got a slightly different cooler and a really nice backplate. This backplate uh, actually all goes all down the edges as well and it folds and wraps around the card itself, which I personally really like. It's only got a single six pin PCI Express power connector, which does mean that it's gonna be uh, um, compatible with a wide range of power supplies, but also that um, if you've got a beefier power supply or something slightly more high end, it's gonna mean that you've got uh, a tidier looking system because you're only gonna need to have a single coming up and out. And don't forget, cables, we don't particularly want to see them. So if you can keep them nice and tidy, then that's all well and good. And I will talk to you about that more in a minute. The cooler itself is different from the normal uh, Zotac 960 as well. You can see hidden around in here, you've got a couple of nice beefy heat pipes going right the way from the length of the card because let's not forget we've got the, uh, the core here so they come right out but then they also wrap around and you can see that they come right the way back down here as well. So there's a fair amount of um, uh, heat pipe on this and uh, it left in stock mode in a 22 degrees room during our testing uh, really pushing it it was 75 degrees but stayed nice cool and quiet if we come around this side we can see that we've got HDMI three display ports and then your normal DVI so it uh, will support pretty much most of the monitors that you could possibly want to chuck at it the display port ones um, are obviously uh, better for the slightly higher resolutions but you've got a nice HDMI to carry sound if you're using a 1080p or something like that. Um, you can see we've got this nice carbon fibre detailing down through the middle and technically if you really wanted to you could uh, take this apart, it would void your warranty, but you could also have a go at um, maybe painting this and then having a two-tone cooler because it is separate from the carbon fibre parts. Now, I did say about the uh, um, backplate wrapping around the side here, and I want to talk to you that. But before I go, because I've already filmed the other bit, I do want to say that this card is available for £185 at uh, Overclockers at the moment, should you be interested. And it would be perfect for a uh, 1080p gaming system, or a, um, a, I'm not going to say an entry level gaming system, but something for those of you with a slightly tighter budget. Um, but this backplate can actually be really good for um, uh, helping you to keep your cables nice and tidy. So let's move on to that before we finish. So here's just a quick look at the little hack I was trying to tell you about using a zip tie and the backplate. Obviously the card itself is a lot shorter than a normal ATX PCB which would normally finish here. Our Rampage 4 Extreme is a little bit wider again but you can use the, this to help keep things all nice and angular and tidy. If you were using an ITX board which would fit it's roughly about the right sort of length for that you could still do this and it would just keep things even tidier still. The back plate and the design do look really nice and understated and almost stealthy though. Keeps it all looking kind of uh, nice and clean and I actually really like it. Yes, it's small, but if, you're, if you want a tidy or a small base system, maybe MATX or ITX, like I said, it could be absolutely perfect. Um, and with no screaming colours or anything, it should fit with a whole range of systems too. 